There are two variants of word to vec and we've looked at one which was the skip gram model, very often used, but there's also another variant called the continuous bag of words or CBAL word to vec model. And this model is different from skip gram. So in skip gram what we tried to do was we try to predict context words given a center word, but now we flip it and we do the opposite. So we're going to condition the model on the context words and then we're going to try and predict the center word based on the context words. Now um, CBAL makes two assumptions. The one is a similar to word to vec that each window, we're also going to slide a window across your data set, and each window can be treated as an IID sample. We also did that for um, skipgram. The other assumption, which we also made in skipgram, is that we can characterize each of the context words in the same way, re regardless of where it occurs as a context word. So if we have the word the here, then we're going to have um, some context vector associated with that word, so the, the, and, but if word the occurs in some other window, maybe in this position here, then we're again going to um, characterize it with this particular word embedding, regardless of whether it occurs, you know, one before, two before, one after, or two after the center word. So for the center word, we're going to have center word embeddings like loves. In Skipgram, we also had a third assumption, which was basically a conditional independence assumption, but that assumption doesn't feature in CBAL. To optimize CBAL, we're also again going to use the negative log likelihood. What we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize the negative log likelihood, um, where we have these um, probabilities for a center word occurring in the context of a whole bunch of context words. And because we're treating each of the windows as an IID sample, you can take the product over all of these pairs of con center word with context words, okay? And you can take the product, and because we're taking the negative log of the product, that's really convenient because the log of a product turns into the sum of the logs, okay? And then you end up with a whole bunch of terms like these, and this then is our loss function for CBAL. Looks quite similar to the skipgram one, except now we've got um, now we've got a word here, a center word, in the context of a whole bunch of other words. Where with skipgram we just had one word, one word here. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of other words here, and that would actually influence the structure of the model. Okay, because in a way we now need to get a score for center word conditioned on a whole bunch of words, not just one word. So um, to train this model, we need to define a structure. How are we going to output this probability for um, center word given a whole bunch of context words? So what we're going to do for the model structure in CBAO is we're again going to take the dot product between a center word embedding, which in this case is UC, okay? And then what we're going to do is for all these context words that occur, we're going to calculate an average context word embedding by basically adding them all up and dividing by the number of them. So my first context word has a context word embedding um, 01, my second context word 02, dunk, 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 up to um, there's going to be two times capital M where M is the window length. Basically M is how many words precede or follow the, the current um, center word. Basically, we're averaging all of these, okay? And the average embedding will just denote that as V of O for our um, context window, okay? And we take the dot product of O with this averaged um, context word embedding, um, and then we push that through the exponential again to end up with a, a normalized thing that sums up to one, if we sum up over all the different center words, okay? So you can write that out explicitly. So here we've got the sum of all the context words divided by the number of context words, dot product with the center word. And then here at the bottom, we're normalizing over all the other possible center words that we can have. And we end up with this um, softmax-like function here. Awesome. 
optimization for this model looks very similar to skipgram so you would go through the same steps again to get the partial derivatives of the negative log likelihood with respect to my u vectors with respect to my v vectors and using those partial derivatives we can do gradient descent to get the negative log likelihood down as with um, skipgram we actually end up with two sets of word embeddings we end up with a whole bunch of center word embeddings and we end up with a whole bunch of context word embeddings. And we can choose either one in CBAL, in contrast to Skipgram, where there's the convention that we use the context word embeddings, the Vs, as our word embeddings for our downstream task.